What's going on guys? This is Tom from Amped Airsoft. We have today the Phoenix HPA unit from Backdraft Innovations. We do have uh, one of my test bench guns here. Uh, this is just something I throw like new engines into. So we got to try this out. We got hands on it. If you guys uh, saw the one live, we were showing it off. I got a chance to run it this past weekend at our indoor facility here down at the arena. Really excited to talk about this. There's a ton of stuff I want to get into on this, but let's go into the pros and cons and start going over what you know worked really well this weekend and what didn't work really well this weekend there's a lot of stuff here that's like i don't want to say like it's earth shattering because it's an hpa unit and that's all it needs to be because the price point for it 250 bucks you're getting a lot of the same performance as a lot of the recognized units so this is a single solenoid system so i'm going to relate it to a lot of the other single solenoid systems on the market right now you have the inferno the jack the f1 uh, the gate pulsar s slash the h that's coming out you have all of those single solenoid systems and all of them kind of perform to a similar manner obviously there's hybrid system setups like the inferno and the pulsar h that are going to be a different movement of the nozzle and how the air flows through this is more set up like the pulsar s or the jack or kind of the f1 the f1's a little bit of its own category this is basically solenoid opens air flows through and it moves the nozzle at the same time um very simple very good design very simple to install um it's the same as any other unit the the trigger board's really easy um the battery draw was really good. I left the battery purposely plugged in since Thursday. I went to play on Saturday just to see if it would have any parasitic draw. None at all. Played all day Saturday, left it plugged in the rest of the week. Came in on Monday and I just pulled the trigger just to see if it would still pull. Still had plenty of power to shoot. So that was really cool. Other pro, obviously the price. The price is uh, really good, um, especially in the compared to other single solenoid systems. It's coming in a lot lower price. Really cool thing that I had mixed opinions on when I was first trying it out is the programmability without having to unplug a battery. Why I find that cool is when I did a quick install on this, I really just kind of slapped it together just to try it out. I didn't file the selector plate down enough. So when I was playing indoors and we're semi-locked indoors um, and I would bump the selector switch, it was very easy to put in a full auto. So right on the field, I just put it into the program mode and semi-lock the full auto setting. And I, all I can do is semi on this right now as it's set up currently. So the whole day I wasn't accidentally bumping it into full auto and you know causing problems on the field. So I didn't think that would be something that I was like, oh, I really am gonna be loving the on the fly programmability, but it is really cool. One of the things that um, I thought I would be worried about is like, in my head from a like tournament standpoint i thought like oh having to take the battery out to enter programming mode is kind of like an extra layer of protection but i don't think that really matters especially if you're you know the the tournaments are generally reft and everything so if you're if you're putting stuff into binary like you're trying to basically cheat the system and put stuff into binary or put stuff into full auto when you're not supposed to be um it's pretty easy to recognize on this system i guess some cons of it would be uh I'm not a big fan of the 90 degree connector that the unit has. Other con, it's a newer engine. Uh, the support's probably not going to be the exact same as you would have with Polestar or you know, Wolverine. Uh, those are very big companies compared to one guy doing this. But this is very impressive that one guy is doing this. This company is creating basically something that is on par with a lot of the single solenoid units on the market right now for a lower cost of entry. Uh, and I think that's really cool. What I do think you give up, though, is you do give up the very uh, large support you get from Polestar and Wolverine being a full setup company that has been around for a while. Uh, you give up the track record that those guys have with dealing with problems over the years. You do give up their years of experience, but you do get a much easier entry point to get into an electronic HPA system that has full auto, that has binary, that has you know, semi-lock that has programmability to it. It's a very, very, very cool product. And that's not to say, you know, as the company gets bigger, they're gonna be, you know, not just as good as those other companies, but the fact remains, this is a brand new company. We don't know if it's gonna go well or it's gonna go bad over the course of time. That's, that's just a fact. But I really do feel like this is a pretty, pretty good unit. I would recommend honestly buying it if you're looking for a very, 
uh, low budget option to get into HPA, um, I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. I talk to the owner a lot. He seems very competent and very knowledgeable and very willing to help, which is a very good sign. We wouldn't be trying out this product if I didn't think that, that you know, the company was a good company. We wouldn't be making an IGL for it. We are making an IGL for it. But yeah, otherwise, this ran fantastic over the weekend. I was very impressed with it. Did I, I didn't run into any issues. Uh, the install was just as easy as a jack would be. So no issue there. One other pro uh, to go over. The FCU is super tiny. It's like the original SMP, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the original Wolverine SMP FCU or the really old Gen 1 Inferno FCU. It has those little dials on it, but it's even thinner than that one was. Like it's, it's really small. So it fits in a lot of spots easily. It comes with two wire harnesses. It comes for one to the buffer tube and it comes for one to the pistol grip as well. So you can really put this in a lot of different uh, areas and not have to deal with a lot of chunky space being taken up by an FCU. I think I think Backdraft hit a lot of the right notes with this, making it affordable and uh, giving it a lot of features that I think a lot of people request. And generally you have to buy an aftermarket FCU to get some of those features, or you have to go in and program it yourself through the settings and stuff. Yeah, uh, that's my first impressions of it. Obviously, you know, we're gonna keep testing this out, uh, but I think we are probably gonna carry it. Uh, we have a meeting with him later this week, going in and talking to him about how we can, you know, get more of these in stock for you guys as I actually start stocking them and actually start, you know, making a final version of the IGL. I'm pretty excited that this, the prototype worked out pretty well. I was pretty excited about the performance of this. No real air leaks. I left a tank hooked up to it uh, the whole weekend, so we weren't really noticing any air leaks with it. So from our end, as the product goes, I'm pretty happy with that as our product. Obviously, we had to do it with a fire line because, you know, it's a Phoenix HPA. Yeah, guys, that's my first impressions of it. I'm pretty impressed by how it turned out, uh, and I'm pretty impressed by, you know, what Backdraft is trying to do uh, as a company. So I would fully recommend this unit as it sits right now. Uh, if there's problems that come up later, we'll definitely let you know. We're never not going to be honest with you guys, but honestly, I think it's a good unit, uh, and I think the price definitely makes it worthwhile. So I would check this out. It's really cool. Good? Yeah, I'm good. They should.
swarm everywhere. 